Hello, hello, hello. Jason here with you from the Game Warrior. And look what I got right here. Right there. So that's the actual game after the Empire. Delightful. Kind of what you would call a tower defense game. Uh, but it's also got some Euro game mechanics worker placement that is really, really fun. So why am I showing it to you? Because this is uh, number seven on my most anticipated games of the year for 2022. Wait a minute, you've got the game. Indeed, I do. But on GameFound, they offered, uh, I would say this summer last year, the deluxe version reprint. Now I already had it, so I didn't need it again, right? So what I did was, uh, this is the campaign, you can see it on the screen. Um, what I wanted though was this. I wanted me some upgraded, pieces uh, and they just they just look so good to me so $29 later I got me some upgraded pieces now today or yesterday actually something interesting happened so uh, to be clear on that then it was eight dollars in shipping so we got an email yesterday from Gray Fox Games the good people there uh, they also make champions of Midgard if you want to get an idea of what they do and they've run into some problems. To get all of these games to us is gonna cost them more money than they have. So they've been thinking really creatively and, the idea, and this is because of the shipping crisis over there in China and everywhere. So their answer to that was what? They could come into the pledge manager and ask us again and go, hey, would you like to pay a few more dollars for shipping? Um, and they, they decided not to do that. And instead what they did is they created a set of dice um, a dice and a couple extra pieces. And these, I'll show you these at the bottom. Um, so you could get Champions of Midgard here, by the way, right? But at the bottom is this Champions of Midgard. See where my mouse is? Uh, promo. Oh, that's not it. It's this one here. Champions of Midgard Polyhedral Dice Promo. So it's 15 extra bucks, no shipping. And you get some dice. Let's go take a look at this, right? You get these dice and you get these this card. I think you get two cards actually, two markets, and then a complete set of the limited dice. So you get those, you're buying them. And I, just, and I immediately went to support this company. You know, this is a great company and this shipping crisis has hit them sideways and I just, I just, I just wanna support them. So I'm also gonna get those two tiles for my Champions of Midgard game, which is right there. It happens to be right there on the shelf. And then the dice set, which is a special clear set of dice with little, uh, I think like uh, Viking horns in the center of them. And you can use them in, with this, uh, with these pieces here, these market pieces. So I did $15. So when I say I did 29 for this thing, I just added, let's see, 39, 30, 44 plus eight is 52. So I'm now at $52 for some upgrade kits these two things in the dice and the shipping. So I'm okay with that. Um, and I think it's coming this year. What they didn't say was whether it's coming this year because they're, they're in a pickle with this whole thing. And they're still gonna lose money on the shipping. Like the increase has gotten so high over their budgets that they're still in trouble with it. But if they can sell, I think it's 2,500 units of this. Uh, and it's gonna go up to $19 for everyone else. But if you were a backer, you can get it for 15 and so forth. So. That's where I'm at. This is my number seven most anticipated game of the year. It's not a game. It's just some upgrade pieces um, that they did on a special with the game found. And now I just wanted to let you guys know about that little shipping thing. Some people are upset about it, but I'm not. And an extra 15 bucks. I mean, I probably would have paid them 15 bucks for shipping anyways. But if they'd ask, here's the thing, though. I get these two cool cards for the other game that I love and these cool dice. That's a win for me. I want them to succeed, and I'm here to support them.